going to add alcohol. Whatever gets drunk, it's their fault. Not my business. You get drunk, you get drunk. <laughs> Guys, if there's anything that I learned last year is that it's never too late to learn a new skill. You know, there was the introduction of the health and care worker visa. People who had never care assistants in their lives, people had never worked in the hospital or care homes, managed to do courses, managed to do attachments, and managed to relocate to UK. Why? It's because they were determined to come to UK. So with each year, the UK looks at the labor market and they identify which professions need more people. So if there are more professions which need more people, they add those people to the shortage occupation list. And guys, as you can see me cooking here, I'm learning a new skill because chefs are high in demand here in the UK. It is the new easiest way for you to relocate to UK. Not only that, the government of UK has also added waiters and waitresses bar managers and bartenders i mean the hospitality industry is going to be the new hot thing so this is what i'm going to be talking about in today's video and if you are new to my channel my name is Pauline Popomoyo and this is a channel where we keep things real and without wasting any of your time let's get into it i'm a savage so guys the interesting bit about the hospitality industry is that it's not only in uk where these jobs are high in demand if you look at things like chefs chefs are highly needed in australia they're also highly needed in new zealand those who are careful guys have already started learning these courses so that they locate to uk and come and work as chefs or come and work as hotel attendants or come and work as waitresses so if you look at jobs like waitresses there isn't much that is really required from you you don't need to be highly qualified to work in the hospitality industry a simple certificate can land you in the hospitality industry i do have people in my telegram group who have managed to locate to the uk because if you look at chefs They've always been on the shortage occupation list. It's just that people have not been using this visa work, but it is the new hot thing, guys. So guys, the health and care worker visa is not the only route that you can use to come to UK. The UK has what we call a shortage occupation list where the government maintains a list of occupations which are deemed to be of short supply in UK. Employers are allowed to hire and sponsor overseas workers in this role under more favorable criteria than for roles that are not on the list. So what this basically means, guys, is whenever there is shortage in UK, whatever profession it is, they add it to the shortage occupation list. And it simply means you can apply to those jobs and you can be sponsored to come to UK. So the UK has what we call a Migratory Advisory Committee, which is a committee which actually recommends which professions should be added to the shortage occupation list. So after making the recommendations, the government then approves if the jobs can be added to the shortage occupation list. And most of the time, or 90% of the time, the government usually approves, just like healthcare assistants were added to the shortage occupation list last year. So guys, the exciting news is that the Migratory Advisory Committee has proposed that more jobs be added to the shortage occupation list. And there are two industries added which are high in demand here in UK. And today I'm going to be talking about one of the industries, which is the hospitality industry. And in my next video, I'll talk about the other industry. So if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification notification bell so that you don't miss when i talk of the other sector which has been added to the shortage occupation list so guys these are the professions that the migratory advisory committee actually recommended that they be added to the shortage occupation list we've got hotel and accommodation managers and proprietors restaurant and catering establishment managers and proprietors chefs 
Catherine and bar managers, waiters and waitresses. Yes, guys, you can relocate to UK as a waiter or a waitress. And guys, these jobs do not require you to have a degree. Even without a degree, you can get a job and come to UK. So, guys, I'm going to tell you the advantages of using this visa route. The salary is brilliant. You can earn between £25,000 up to £150,000 per annum. Obviously, this will depend on your years of experience. And guys, if you use this visa route, you are able to relocate with your family because this is a skilled worker visa. And under the skilled worker visa, you can relocate to UK with your family. Most of the chef jobs that I've seen on offer actually offer you accommodation as well as food. I mean, if you work in a restaurant or hotel, whatever leftover food, obviously not food which has been eaten by people, whatever leftover food in the kitchen, they give to the chef, they give to the people who work in the kitchen. So guys, this is a great advantage because food is expensive these days in UK and imagine a situation whereby you get free accommodation as well as free food. You are able to take on additional work under this visa route and you are also allowed to study in UK under this visa route another advantage is that this visa route leads to settlement after five years in uk you can become a permanent resident of uk isn't that exciting guys so what is the eligibility criteria for you to be able to use this visa route to come to uk so formal education isn't required to become a chef in uk guys so if you do professional cookery courses or culinary courses or any courses related to handling of food it can be a certificate a diploma or a degree what's important is for you to have passion for your job be able to do your job and gain experience in the field because they require you to have at least six months one year two years experience depending on the role that you're applying to you need to have ielts english test a band score of four police clearance from your country or any other country if you've lived there for more than three months a tb certificate and most importantly you need to have some references when it comes to these jobs guys references are of paramount importance because they want to gain a larger perspective of who you are and what expertise you bring to the job because obviously no one wants to hire a chef who's not able to cook guys the next thing obviously you need to secure a job here in uk and get a certificate of sponsorship for you to be able to apply for a visa you also need to have proof of funds which is usually 1270 pounds in your account unless your employer indicates that they're going to cover your proof of funds so that's the eligibility criteria guys and the requirements for you to become a chef here in the uk or to work in the hospitality industry the most interesting bit or the exciting thing is that as i speak to you right now there are so many chef jobs with the visa sponsorship here in the uk not only are they needing chefs here in the uk Australia is also experiencing a critical shortage of people in the hospitality industry and they are also hiring from overseas with visa sponsorship and I'm going to leave links to these companies hiring chefs from overseas with visa sponsorship so that you just check and validate and see that it is actually for real that chefs are needed in uk and chefs are needed in australia and spain also has sixty thousand plus vacancies available for people in the hospitality industry guys the hospitality industry is the future as for waiters and waitresses the uk government has not officially 
agreed to add them to the shortage occupation list of which we are awaiting a review which is going to come out in june 2023 and obviously i will come and give you an update once the review is out however this is what you need to know when it comes to waiter and waitress jobs education there are no formal academic entry requirements though some employers may require gcse grades training is typically provided on the job nvqs svqs in relevant areas are available levels ones and twos so guys for you to become a waitress here in the uk you don't really need any formal qualification but obviously even if they say so having qualifications puts you at an added advantage just like the health and care worker jobs guys they don't need you to have any formal qualifications but obviously if someone has got a diploma or nvq2 nvq3 or qq1 level 5 they are at an advantage compared to someone who does not have any qualifications so guys this is what you also need for you to become a waiter in uk you need customer service skills the ability to work well with others the ability to accept criticism and work well under pressure to be thorough and pay attention to detail excellent verbal communication skills a desire to help people active listening and a good memory all these are characteristics of a good waiter guys if you don't have these skills you are not going to be able to work as a waiter or a waitress here in uk and another thing you really need to be patient because remember you'll be dealing with people different characters different attitudes so it's very necessary that you are a patient someone and let me emphasize on the point of having a good memory i personally find it so annoying if a waiter or waitress brings wrong food to my table something that i did not order guys it really annoys me so you really have to have good memory so that whenever we place our orders in the restaurants you give us what we ordered from you guys so guys after the chef learned new skills she went to play with other kids guys remember it was easter over the weekend and we went and celebrated easter with my uk family i always tell you that i've got a uk family and these are people that i met here in uk and we developed a beautiful wonderful strong bond and we celebrate most occasions together so guys you can see the food is beautiful on the table there and me i've already started learning my chef skills and my waiter skills and guys very soon i'll be a chef and i'll be earning thousands and thousands of pounds so guys if you are interested in relocating to uk as a chef or if you are interested in working in the hospitality industry you better start preparing now do some courses i'll leave examples in the description box and gain some experience and then apply this is possible guys because last year people who did not have any qualifications for health and care jobs did do some courses gain some qualifications and they managed to relocate to uk as healthcare assistants so you can relocate to uk under the hospitality industry if you've got any questions drop them below and thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in my next video Bye.